Number 1. Bayer 04 Leverkusen. The local football club is nicknamed Die Workself, the Company 11, and as you might guess, came together when Bayer helped a group of its employees start a sports club. Bayer Leverkusen have been playing in the Bundesliga continuously for the last 40 years. And although they've never actually won the league they're always in the reckoning and often qualify for European competitions. Number 2. Museum Morsbridge Schloss Morsbridge in the Alkenrath district has a history beginning around the end of the 14th century, and the current Rococo Palace was completed in 1775. This delightful building holds Leverkusen's Municipal Museum of Contemporary Art, which puts on ever-changing temporary exhibitions all year round. In the collection are pieces by 20th-century big hitters like Gerhard Richter. Number 3. Japanischer Garten. Right by the Bayer plant in the Flitter district is a Japanese garden rated as one of the best parks in Germany. The man behind it was Bayer's former CEO, Karl Duisberg, who planted the garden on his villa's grounds in 1912 and then expanded it after a tour of the Far East in the 1920s. Number 4. Industry Museum Freudenthaler. At this former factory on the Dunn River, you'll step into an entirely preserved late 19th century industrial facility. Sickles and sides were produced in these brick forge buildings from 1837 to as recently as 1987 when the factory closed down. Very little has changed in decades, and the workers' houses, industrialists' villas are part of the tour. Number 5. Newland Park. This park was founded in time for the Landesgartenschau, State Garden Show, in 2005 on the site of the former Dunau Worker Settlement. Something that may surprise you about the Newland Park is that it was once contaminated land, having been used by Bayer as a waste landfill in the first half of the 20th century. Number 6. Wild Park Riestenberg. In the western end of the vast Riestenberger Wald is an animal park for European species. There are 80 different species, almost all of which are native to Germany or Central Europe. You'll encounter mouflons, goats, sheep, otters, wild cats, porcupines and deer, all in ample enclosures. Number 7. Villa Romer, Hauster Stagischicht. In Opladen, the local dye manufacturer Max Romer built himself a resplendent neo-Renaissance villa, which he lived in from 1905 to 1923. Not long after that it became Opladen's town hall and then the seat of the British military command after the war. Since Leverkusen's foundation in 1975 the house has been renovated. Number 8. Colony Museum Leverkusen. At Nobelstrasse 78 in Weisdorf you can get a glimpse of life in one of the worker settlements founded by Bayer AG at the start of the 20th century. The museum is one of the pairs of semi-detached houses built by the factory especially to house its employees, in what were known as colonies, which even had their own Bayer brand department store and are now a German historic monument. Number 9. Naturgut Ophoven. On a historic 60,000 square meter Ophoven estate is an educational park and museum where kids can get in touch with nature and find out about renewable energy. Outside there's a hedge labyrinth an insect lodge, an aroma trail, ponds, and playgrounds. And the main exhibition is the Energy Stadt, Energy City. Number 10. Leverkusenburg Water Tower. Wherever you go in Leverkusen you should be able to spot this 72.45-meter water tower rising in the Berg district. The structure is from 1974, and the tank at the top has a diameter of 42 meters and the total capacity is 4,000 cubic meters. The tower was refurbished for the Landesgartenschau in 2005. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.